Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So yesterday we got it officially confirmed that the next character options online exclusive set would feature three Silurians from Warriors of the Deep. The set features the three Silurians from that story, Ikvar, Tarpark and Skybus, as well as a special diorama insert of the ancient Silurian submarine. In the official announcement, Al Jawar, character options' as creative director, added his own personal thoughts on the release of this new exclusive and the episode from which they are created. I think it's safe to say that 1984's story Warriors of the Deep brought back a much underused yet very fondly remembered Doctor Who foe, the Silurians. I personally remember this story with great fondness, partly this was because from the start I was trying to guess who the protagonist was, the mysterious submarine closed in on the sea base, and then later because of the great rework of the original design for this classic monster. The Silurian costume design is excellent and I think created quite a different look with the updated carapace body added. The Silurians in this story are like the Silurians and sea, and sea Devils of old. They are not the baddies and neither are they alien. They are simply trying to survive in the story. It's the humans who appear less than squeaky clean. Like many really good stock 2 stories, there are no winners at the end of Warriors, just survivors. It's a really cracking adventure of the Fifth Doctor with a kind of feeling of downbeat inevitability, which I really like. Three Silurians in the set might seem an odd choice, but for me this story is all about three. We have the three races, human Silurians and the Sea Devils. We have Iktar, the last of the original Silurian triad. The three Silurian characters themselves are the command crew of the ratty old sub, and all we see of the once proud race. Obviously we have the Silurians as own third eye, though this time uses a speech unit and not as a psionic weapon. Therefore the set we've brought together works perfectly, as we have two Silurians with the black unlit eye, and a slight variation in body deco on these means they are all slightly different. I absolutely love this figure and I think it's one of the best we've ever done and a great addition to the classic lineup. The set is available to pre-order in the UK now on the official character options website for $29.99. No official release date has been given yet but it will probably be released very shortly. The set is also limited to just 5,000 units. Now, whilst I would have preferred to have had the original Silurians from Doctor and the Silurians released first, I do have to admit that these figures are incredibly well detailed. They look exactly like the original costumes did in the story, and I'm very glad that we're finally getting some classic Silurians. There aren't many differences between the three of them from what I can make out, but I do love the fact that character decides to go with having one third eye painted red and the other two painted black. So whilst I would have loved to have seen other sets instead of this one, this set still looks really good and I can't wait to get it. In some ways I do think it is a shame that characters mainly focus in on a classic series now, but at the same time we've been consistently spoiled with amazing and excellent new figures such as these three, which seem to be entirely new sculpts. They definitely opened the window to getting more classic series monsters, and certainly the 70s Silurians too, which I hope will follow these sometime very soon. But there's my quick thoughts on this brand new Warriors of the Deep figure set, but what do you think? Are you excited for this release or not? please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it so you'll be notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 488 subscribers as of time of writing and recording this video. But once we get to 500, then I'll rank every single Doctor Who TV companion, from 1963 to the present. Also, please rate and let me know what you think of this figure set in the comments below. So, until next time, bye-bye!